bladder cancer is an oncological disease look at this picture shows that bladder and cancerous cells x-ray CT findings look at this and the MRI detail going on introduction bladder cancer is a common type of cancer that originates in the tissues of the bladder which is a hollow organ in the lower abdomen responsible for storing urine it is one of the most frequently diagnosed cancers particularly in older adults and has a higher incidence in men than women definition bladder cancer refers to the uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells in the bladder lining or other bladder tissues these cells can invade nearby structures or spread to other parts of the body a process known as metatarsis types bladder cancer can be classified into different types based on the cell involved one urothelial carcinoma formerly known as transitional cell carcinoma the most common type originating in the urothelial cells lining the bladder to squamous cell carcinoma often associated with chronic bladder irritation or infection 3 adenocarcinoma arising from glandular cells this type is rare and linked to chronic bladder inflammation for small cell carcinoma a very rare and aggressive type of bladder cancer often treated with chemotherapy 5 sarcoma extremely rare involving the muscle layers of the bladder causes bladder carcinoma occurs due to mutations in the dna of bladder cells causing them to grow uncontrollably the exact cause is often unknown but several factors can increase the likelihood of developing bladder cancer including one exposure to carcinogens example tobacco smoke or industrial chemicals to chronic bladder infection or irritations three genetic mutations and family history four certain medications example cyclophosphamide or radiation therapy risk factors on smoking the most significant risk factor as harmful chemicals from tobacco are filtered by the kidneys and excreted in the urine affecting the bladder lining 
to age risk increases with age particularly in those over 55 three gender men are more likely to develop bladder cancer than women four chemical exposure prolonged exposure to certain chemicals in industries such as dye manufacturing rubber leather and paint five chronic bladder inflammation conditions like bladder stones or urinary tract infections can increase the risk six personal or family history of bladder cancer seven previous cancer treatments certain chemotherapy drugs or radiation therapy targeted near the bladder can elevate risk complications metastasis spread of cancer to nearby organs or distant sites such as the lungs bones or liver to urinary issues difficulty with bladder function or urinary retention due to tumor growth three post surgical complications following bladder removal or reconstructive surgery complications like infections may arise four psychological stress coping with cancer diagnosis treatment and potential lifestyle changes can cause emotional and psychological distress pathophysiology bladder cancer typically starts in the urothelial cells which line the inner surface of the bladder these cells become malignant when exposed to mutagens resulting in abnormal uncontrolled cell growth as the tumor grows it may penetrate deeply into the bladder wall and surrounding tissues tumors can be superficial or invasive spread to other organs step by step pathophysiology of bladder cancer one initiation genetic mutations in urothelial cells mutation trigger dna damage two cellular transformation uncontrolled cell growth abrasion of apoptosis three tumor formation early non invasive stage non invasive tumor papillary growth four progression inversion of deeper layers inversion of lamina propria inversion of muscularis propria five angiogenesis formation of new blood vessels tumor growth support tumor hypoxia six metatarsis spread to other parts of the body inversion of nearby tissues 
emphatic spread distant metastasis seven immuno evasion tumor immunity suppression eight recurrence high rate of relapse tumor recurrence bladder cancer progresses from the mutation of urothelial cells leading to uncontrolled growth and inversion of surrounding tissues if untreated it can metatosis to other parts of the body making it more challenging to manage early detection is critical to prevent inversive disease and improve patient outcomes signs and symptoms one hematuria blood in the urine the most common symptom which may be intermittent and not accompanied by pain two dysuria painful or difficult urination three frequent urination or urinary even when the bladder is not full four pelvic or lower back pain in advanced stages five fatigue weight loss and other systemic signs of cancer in later stages diagnosis one urine analysis detects blood or abnormal cells in the urine two cystoscope a procedure using a thin tube with a camera to visualize the inside of the bladder and obtain tissue sample for biopsy three imaging studies ct urogram mri or ultrasound to assess the extent of the disease for biopsy to confirm cancer diagnosis and determine the type and grade of the tumor 5 urine cytology examines urine for cancer cells nursing diagnosis one acute pain related to cancer or surgical interventions to impaired urinary elimination due to tumor or bladder dysfunction three anxiety related to cancer diagnosis and prognosis four risk for infection due to surgical interventions or urinary catheters five body image disturbance after surgery especially with urinary diversion management one regular monitoring for non invasive cancers including cystoscopy and imaging two smoking cessation to reduce further damage and complications three psychological support and counseling for emotional well-being four bladder training and education on lifestyle modifications to improve urinary function post treatment treatment on surgical interventions a trans 
urethral resection of bladder tumor for early stage cancer b radical cystectomy removal of the bladder for more advanced or invasive cancers c urinary diversion following bladder removal urine can be treated through a stoma or neo bladder to hemotherapy endovascular or systemic to target cancer cells 3 radiation therapy may be used to shrink tumor or in case where surgery is not an option for immunotherapy drugs like bacillus calmate gorin stimulate the immune system to attack cancer cells in the bladder five targeted therapies newer treatments that specifically attack cancer cell with specific genetic mutations psychosocial medicine bladder cancer diagnosis and treatment significantly affect a patient's mental health common issues include one depression and anxiety related to fear of cancer recurrence or side effects from treatment three body image concerns particularly in patients requiring urostomy for social isolation due to treatment side effects like fatigue prevention one quick smoking the most effective way to reduce bladder cancer risk to limit exposure to harmful chemicals in occupational setting three hydration drinking plenty of fluid may help flush harmful substance from the bladder for early treatment of bladder infections and inflammations to prevent chronic irritation in conclusion bladder cancer although potentially aggressive is treatable especially when diagnosed early early detection through routine screening and patient awareness of symptoms is crucial for effective management multidisciplinary approaches including surgical pharmacological and psychological interventions improve patient's outcomes and quality of life thank you have a nice day